long term, uh, we're going to a world that is going to be of what uh, people refer to as hyper-digitalization. It was exacerbated that speed of change during COVID, but even after COVID. The way we work, the way we study, the way we live, the way we do commerce, the way we buy good, the way we socialize, the way we entertain each other, is going to be increasingly variants of using essentially online and technology of one sort or another. So that's the medium long-term trend. And AI, machine learning, robotic automation, uh, uh, quantum and so on are going to be some of the technologies of the future combined providing new goods and services. So long term probably you want to be of course in a variety of technologies and some of these technology firms are already in public markets, some of them are in private market, some of them are at the VC level, some of them are at the startup level and of course the latest fad that is not just a fad is of course is everything related to AI and specifically this new version of generative AI and so on. In the short run, of course, P ratios for all these firms went through the roof. And some of them, some tech firms, of course, they did not have a very savvy business model. They were sort of vaporware. They didn't have real significant revenues. They had no profits. And those were, of course, totally wiped out when interest rates start to rise. But even big tech, even Google or Alphabet or Meta, or Amazon and so on, of course, had a massive correction because one, P ratios were high, two, again, we have a normalization of interest rates, and that affects uh, long-duration assets like tech more than all the economy kind of stocks and so on.